Hi, Dan O'Brien here again with you. In this lesson, it's avoid these common agent mistakes. Let me just walk through them and give you a couple ideas around it. So one of the first mistakes that I generally see is people not using a calendar system, a time management or appointment system that works for them. Now, I highly, highly recommend that you rely on an online calendar meaning something through Google. You know, Outlook is another option. I think the Google products are a better way to go. We'll be talking a lot about that, but you need an integrated calendar that when you're out in the field, it's in your, it's in your phone, it's on everything, it's connecting with your CRM and so forth. Now, if you're a person who likes pen and paper and you want an appointment book, I recommend using that as a backup system or have it don't just have that because if you lose your book, you're not going to know what your calendar next thing is and so forth. So in this day and age, it's critically important to use a calendar or an appointment system or even something like Calendly or an app that allows clients to book appointments with you. This is clearly a way to manage your time and your schedule. So to avoid the mistake of not, of, of not having a calendar and appointment system. Okay, next one is not mastering your client relationship management system. Now there are a ton of options out there and here's all I wanna say about it. You need to choose something, choose what the company offers, use something that you are gonna go ahead and make a commitment to. This is what I have seen through the years. People are using their, their Gmail contacts, that's not a CRM. Using a spreadsheet, that's not a CRM. You have to have the ability to interact with leads and let the CRM do the heavy lifting. Lifting. So many people I know, agents through the years, have a CRM, they just haven't learned how to use it. So avoid that one. Commit to the client relationship management system of your choice, learn it, do what you have to do to learn it, and then life's gonna be better for you. All right, the next common mistake, not committing the time, resources, and effort to be a real estate industry expert. Well, we're gonna talk more about this later in an upcoming lesson, but it is so important for you to be a student of real estate. You must be able to speak about everything from what's happening in housing and trends on a national basis, what kind of things are happening in the economy, uh, what's happening with Congress and bills that are being passed that are impacting what we do, working with buyers and sellers every day. So it's on that level all the way down to what type of transactions, everything that happens in a real estate transaction to the types of transactions that are out there. Meaning, do you understand how to do a probate? Do you understand how to do 1031 exchanges? These are all things that you're going to be coming across in your career. You have to become the trusted advisor. And the only way to do that is through being a student. All right. Next common mistake is the getting ready to get ready syndrome. This is truly common with new agents and it's that confidence issue. I remember when I was new, I felt the same thing. It was like, I need to learn everything. I need to know how to write contracts. I need to know enough so I'm not embarrassed. I don't want a client to ask me a question I don't know the answer to. So do not find yourself in this loop of saying, once I know everything about real estate, then I'll go talk to people. Because guess what? You're never gonna know everything about real estate. You learn something new every day. Avoid the getting ready to get ready. Don't take all the classes the best way. Take classes, do this training, but find the balance every day that you're working on something, you're learning something and you're getting out and doing things. The best way to learn is through experience. Mistakes are gonna get made. You're gonna have help with that. Don't worry. You can correct most things that happen. So get out there and do something. Don't wait weeks and months before you jump into this real estate business. Next common mistake and it's another big one, trying to be all things to all people. Now, what I mean by this is when you're new, we want you to try all the different ways that you can generate business. So in the beginning, you need to discover what you like. You need to discover what you're good at. The only way to do that is to try all the various ways to lead generate. Calling, door knocking, for sale by owners, expires, farming, online, uh, networking, whatever it is you're going to do, we're going to introduce you to all these things. So in the beginning, we want you to try them all. We want you to get out there and see, oh my gosh, I am great at knocking on doors. I'm great in a networking environment. Or no way am I going to pick up a phone and talk to an expired listing. But that's all good. As long as you figure out 
what you're going to niche or specialize in, that's what we're going to help you with on this journey. So don't try to be all things to all people eventually. In the beginning, learn everything so that you can discover what you like and then we're going to help you fine tune that so that you always have your database, the people that you know, and we want you to find two or three other niches or special areas to work on. Next up, another big one, not communicating enough with your clients. Not sharing all the opportunities and possibilities up front, helping people understand, being the first to communicate, not communicating enough with your clients. All right, so that one is a big one. We've talked a little bit about that. And last common agent mistake, I call it commission breath. And what it means is that you're focusing on the commission, you're calculating how much money you're gonna make before the deal ever closes. Do not do this. I will promise you, if you don't heed my advice and you focus on, oh my gosh, I have to have this deal closed so I can pay my mortgage, pay my rent, make my car payment. If you have all this energy around, I must have this commission closed. Trust me, this is the best way to have all kinds of roadblocks come up in your transaction uh, it's just the way the world works. Instead, you focus on providing exceptional service. Take care of your clients, and the end result is you make a commission. All right? So there it is. Avoid those common agent mistakes. Do the right way that I talked about it, and your real estate career is going to be a lot better. We'll see you in the next lesson.